All right, enough Ten Hag. How about some quick hits instead? Let's go, Gav. Arsenal are joint top of the table with a 3-0 away win against Brighton. Jules, amazing what happens when you play Georgie ah, in go. midfield, Havertz up front, and Gabriel Jesus out wide, like God and Pep Guardiola intended. Yeah, maybe. It was a really good performance, really, from Arsenal from start to finish, pretty much. I'm not even sure I really understand the debate over the penalty. I thought it, I, I know Lamptey kind of brushes the ball with his foot, but then he takes up Gabriel Jesus. And, and for me, Gabriel Jesus could still... I've had the ball. That's why I explain on... The FC show because Stevie Nicol and Ali Moreno was not were not having the penalty, but Arsenal was so good and Kai Havertz was so good and they pressed so well and they created so many chances. They could have, they could have scored more goals, and for a long time they kept Brighton's XG below uh, on 0.3. So you know, away from home, that's another very impressive performance. Yeah, I, and I I thought this was a more comprehensive performance, um, and, and we're seeing a multifaceted yeah. Arsenal. You know because. I'm not saying this was like the City game. They didn't do no, but they the played same way. Well but, but you have some of those same yeah, elements. Yeah. Manchester City rolled to a 4-2 win away to Crystal Palace as Kevin De Bruyne returns to the starting yes. lineup with a bang. Two goals and one assist. Take that, Phil Foden. Exactly. Where was Phil Foden? On the bench. <laughs> to go back to our point about at some point, Pep might have to choose one or the other. No, does this mean Pep is a motivational genius? I don't know, but all I want to see players. now is who plays against Real Madrid and where. And both of them will start, <laughs> obviously, but where? Can you try to play them both at 10s? Can you, will you put foot and wide? But KDB, amazing. The first goal especially, because they were under pressure from considering that very early goal. Mateta, John Stones uh, doing a Kwanzaa, and then I'm not really sure what he does on the uh, transition. But after that, that goal from KDB in the, the curler in the opposite top corner was amazing. And then they rolled on after that. Uh, you know, he started just eight league games this season, Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, I know. Which, you know what? If part-time De Bruyne, keep him for big games, I'm good with that. Maybe, exactly. Chelsea yeah. scored two injury time goals on Thursday to beat Manchester United. But on Sunday, they conceded oh. an injury time goal against another United, Sheffield, who happened to be bottom of the table. And they had to settle for 2-2 draw. Jules, Pochettino says there's, they're not mature enough and the process will take three to five years. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, if you hadn't wasted that first season to start with, maybe the process would have taken less time, Poch, because I don't know where to start. It seems, like, well, we said it all, all season long, it's one step forward, two step back every time. I looked it up uh, yesterday after the game. Only twice this season they've won back-to-back -back Premier League games against Burnley and Luton and Brentford, against rubbish teams. It's, and the last time was in December. It is just, there's no consistency, there's no direction from this team. They, I thought they were so bad in this game, so slow, so pedestrian. I mean, the XG is 0 0.6. Even Sheffield United, Sheffield United, Sheffield United has a higher XG, it's 1.4. I remind everybody just to finish on that because I don't want to go too harsh on Chelsea. They're just not good. It's not a good team. He's not a good manager this season. But Sheffield United had lost 5 0 against Aston Villa, 5 0 against Brighton, 6 0 against Arsenal in three of the last four home games before facing Chelsea. And they played better than Chelsea and they had more chances than Chelsea. Yeah. Three to five years. Yeah, exactly. Tottenham Hotspur are up into fourth place, Jules, with a 3-1 victory over Nottingham Forest. And former Spurs fan favourite, Nuno Espirito Santo. That's right, going back to the uh, Tottenham Stadium. A 3-1 win when they considered chances. I mean, I think Chris Wood could have had a hat-trick easily. Okay, He's you need to one. explain to me, since you're Mr. Teckers, the one where he smashes the ball, you're one metre out. But you've said it. He's Why do you have to hit the ball exactly, so hard? Exactly. Just side-foot it, dude. Yeah, what, exactly. what is, you got anger management issues? I mean, between him and Schlotterbeck, I think those have to be the two biggest misses we've seen uh, this season. Incredible. And so, yeah, it looks like a good result. Certainly, it's, it is a really good result. And But maybe the, the, the scoreline doesn't really reflect the, the way the game went because I, I thought Spurs for how good as they are going forward. And, and Pedro Porro scored a lovely goal, for example, to make it 3-1. They're also still very exposed defensively. And that has to change because you, you won't go to the next level It has like to that. change. It's, it's Ange ball. You take yeah. the good with the bad. You take chances. Well, yeah, but then, yeah, but that's what I mean. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And Gab Forrest in that game were furious uh, when Ryan Yates appeared to get punched by James Madison off the ball. He called for a VR intervention that never happened. Never came. So, you know my feelings on Nuno, but he is 100% yeah, right. I agree. Um, I thought this was absolutely ridiculous. 100%. 100%. Uh, 
you can you can clearly see him. And look, I'm not Madison goes and he punches the guy in the stomach. Now does he maybe make a meal there? Ryan Yates is bigger than Madison. I don't care. You cannot do this. And why what do you they think are, happened? Then they, they I, I have no idea. Look, the referee presumably didn't see it. VAR should have intervened. If, if, if the referee said to VAR, oh, no, don't worry, I saw it. It was nothing. It was a coming together, as they like to yeah. say in this country. Um, then you, VAR, have to say, no, no, no. Hey, listen, you know, dumb, dumb, go look at the video, right? But it didn't happen. And this is big. This could have serious implications Massively. both for the Champions League places and for relegation. And, yeah, if Nuno is 100% yeah, correct on this one. I agree.